Howdy YouTubers, this is Steven and I'm back with another photo analysis. This time I'll be analyzing the cover of Hitomi Shimantani's single Angelus slash ZZZ Zip Zap Zipangu. Well, that's a mouthful. But let's just get into this photo analysis now. All right, here we go. Okay, so I noticed that this shot of Hitsumi is is an upper body shot. It's about, you know, a little over half of her body. And she's wearing all black. And I'm like, "Okay, all right." <clears throat> and also the coloration too. I know this. Um, you can see like the red coloration on the black that she's wearing, which I think is interesting. Um, but as far as the photo is concerned, um, okay, I noticed that um, Hitomi's, like part of Hitomi's eye is covered on the right side, if you notice, which I would have liked to have seen both of her eyes. But then again, her eyes do look a little, a little blank. But I think if she had used both of her eyes, this would have helped increase the quality of the photo. Um, as well, her hand that's on her hat, it looks a little odd. Look at it. It looks like some weird claw, you know. I think she should have worked her fingers better there. But I think you know that's a good pose that she did with her hand and her arm, her hand and her arm. But the fingers kind of ruin it for me. You know, when you are modeling, you have to remember every single little part of you because that one little part can throw off the rest of the the rest of the photo. Let's see. Um, you don't really notice much of her hair, but it's respectable. You know. As long as it's not looking, you know, busted, then I'm sure she can pull it off. You know, it's it's not a big deal <clears throat> in this case. But you know, had she had, you know, you know, really her, her people at least, you know, did her hair up more, it probably would have had more of a presence in the photo. But they perhaps they're trying to go for more of a model type of look. And you know, concentrating more on the face instead of the hair, but the hat covers up some of the face too. You know, the hat takes away from the face, so it's like okay, they want to concentrate on the face by pulling the hair back and putting in the ponytail and making it more about the face, but then you use a hat to cover it up. So eh, it's like you, I don't know. Her people might not have known the direction they wanted to go with this photo or either just threw something together that wasn't as thought out as it should have been. Um, so, you know, nevertheless, um, this is what we have. Right? Um, her neck looks a little thick here. I don't know if she just has a thick neck or either the camera caught her at a bad moment. I don't know, her, her neck doesn't, it looks a little thick. I imagine her neck being thinner than it looks in this photo. You know, Hitomi is a thin woman, so I kind of imagine her neck being thin as well. So her neck looks a little thick here. Um, perhaps if she had um, kind of, you know, worked her neck better, she could have made it look um, thinner and more elongated. But here it kind of looks a little stumpy, you know. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure what she's wearing on her neck. It looks like she's wearing some type of, of a necklace, but it has like some, like, I don't know what that is. Um, but I don't think it was necessary. I think it, sometimes less is more, and I think in this situation, taking this away would not really bring down the quality of the photo. It might even elevate the quality of the photo. So, yeah, I don't think she needed that. And if she did wear, you know, some type of a 
accessory on her neck, then it should have been a simple accessory, you know? Um, let's see. I noticed that here to me she's showing some skin. You know, she is showing us some skin here. So she's kind of trying to use a little sex appeal on us. <clears throat> and she's giving us midriff as well. And I'm like, okay, all right. I feel what she's trying to do with this photo here. Uh, but the question is, did she deliver sex appeal? I think she's on her way to delivering sex appeal. I think she kind of did, but not quite as well as it could have been. Um, I like the what looks like like the the things that are on her wrist. I like those. Um, I'm not quite sure what you call them. Um, I want to call them cufflinks, but I think that you know the things that are holding the two, like the pieces, are the piece together is the cufflinks, not what she's actually wearing. But I like that. You know, I think that's a nice touch. You know, that I think that helped bring a bit more dynamic to the photo. But then again, let's imagine them. Imagine the photo without those. Hmm. I think the photo could still work, but she might look a little like something's missing, perhaps. So I think that was a nice touch, you know? <clears throat> um, and the outfit that she's wearing. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what she's going for with this look. Because the single is called Angelus slash Zip Zip Zip. Or Z Z Z Zip Zap Zipangu. So I don't know what theme she's interpreting. I don't see the angel from angel. You know, I don't see angel being interpreted. You know, I think Angelus is angel in Latin, and I don't know. You know, the first thing about how to interpret Zip 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 or Z Z Z Zip Zap Zipangu. I don't even know what that really means. So uh, I don't know if she just threw out the theme totally and just decided to go with a nice looking picture or what. But I don't see the theme being interpreted here. And I think she could have interpreted at least the um, angel theme, you know, Angelus. I think she could have interpreted that and that would have been an easy theme to interpret. Uh, but perhaps she's going for more like the angel of death type of look since she's in all black. Because this does look hmm, a little sinister. A slight sinister feel with it, if you really look at it. She's in all black for the most part. You kind of have some red coloration there on her um, black outfit. So, perhaps she's going for a bit of a sinister look here. Maybe that's what she's trying to give us. Trying to give us like an angel of death type of vibe. A sexy angel of death type of vibe. And also I just noticed that there's some like a white necklace or some pearls on top of the hat that she's wearing. And I think that was, I don't think that addition, you know, the white pearl part was necessary. Um... I appreciate them trying to pay attention to the, you know, the details of the photo and the outfit, but I think, again, it might be the situation where like less is more. So sometimes you don't need to have a lot to produce a good photo, and I think this is just an example of that. <clears throat> or you know, at least the outfit is. It's like you don't need that. Sometimes you don't need a lot to do a lot. Also, I just noticed that her elbow her elbow looks weird. If you look at her elbow on the right side, it looks a little weird to me. I don't know why. It's I don't know. It doesn't look as formed as it should for me. I don't know. I, as I don't know. It just looks like it's not very refined. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, or I'm just being hypercritical, which I guess I am. Um, but I don't know, it just looks a bit odd to me for some reason. And I notice their, you know, their red spotlights in the back. 
for some reason. I don't know what that's supposed to symbolize, if it's supposed to symbolize anything. But I think it looks nice. Overall, I think this is a respectable photo. But I feel like, I don't know, the theme might have not been interpreted as well as it could have been. And sometimes when you have a really easy theme to interpret, like Angelus, Angelus, it's like, okay, how could you not interpret this theme? Because it's just so obviously easy to interpret. You know, you could have you have so many different options. However, like I said before, perhaps she's going for the angel of death type of thing versus the more like contemporary popular angel where it's like, I'm from heaven, you know, that type of a thing, you know, dressed in all white instead of all black. Um, but overall, I do think this is a respectable photo. You know, I think she, you know, I think this is a, um, it's a nice looking photo. It could be better. It could be worse, you know, but overall, yeah, I think it's decent. You know, it's respectable. So overall, Good job, good job. And I also noticed that, you know, the way they positioned her hair is actually pretty cool. You know, it's actually a good thing with this photo because it helps bring more dynamic with the photo. If she had pulled her hair um, or positioned her ponytail in back of her, I think that might have actually taken away a little bit from the quality of the photo. But it would have emphasized her face. But when you're not giving, like, a strong, as strong of a face, our facial expression as you could then it might bring down a photo quality so I think that it was a nice a nice touch you know but imagine the ponytail being pulled back let's see I think it would help it would kinda make add more emphasis to her face you know and in this situation that might not be something you want to add emphasis to but like I said, overall, this is a respectable photo. And, you know, I've seen way worse photos, you know. So I think overall, good job to Hitomi and her team. I think they delivered a respectable photo. So that's what I think. Feel free to let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. Your feedback and your support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued. And to the next photo analysis, adios. And goodbye for now.